Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBot Solutions. I hope that you guys are all having a great day. I want to talk about this topic that has been brought up and so many people are talking about buying the dip on DGAS, which is the inverse ETF of uh, natural gas, right? Or the inverse ETF of UGAS, which is correlates on over to natural gas. I want to show you, um, first of all, there's a link down in the description. It's the first link down below. And that is an article that I read um, on top of many others. They give you a little bit more of an insight on what caused this huge push up on UGAS and altogether natural gas. Like what to learn a little bit more of like what drives these prices up and uh, up and down, I think it's very important for you to do your own analysis and your own due diligence to have a better understanding of what drives these prices up and down. With that being said, just to kind of review the article very quickly, what it came down to was over the weekend, there was, so the easiest way for me to put it is when, uh, when it gets, you know, more cold, natural gas prices go up. When it becomes... Uh, or gets warmer, natural gases prices go down. Easiest way for me to put it. One of the things that I was doing was I was trying to, so I'm gonna make sure that, and I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible and then for you guys to do your own analysis um, on the back end. Uh, but one of the things that you guys can do or, or, or learn a little bit more about is uh, try to do an analysis on just like even uh, forward slash NG, right? Forward slash NG being a natural gas ETF. Try to understand like when it peaks out and, and what period, what season it is. That's the easiest way for me to put it. So during September, um, you can see that, or during September to October, you can see the prices really start to drive up. And then during February or January and February, you can start to see it recline. Same thing with, you know, this is a three year analysis. So the same thing happens here, October, November, prices drive up, hits a peak, sells off, right? Then closer uh, towards like the new year and the warmer month when it, when it becomes spring, right? Same thing when it comes down to this specific year. November, you can see that the prices drive up. Altogether, easiest for me to put it, easiest way for me to put it is natural gas prices go up when it gets colder. Natural gas prices go down when it gets warmer. What season are we getting ourselves into? We're getting into, you know, winter. So it makes sense on why natural gas is going to be valued at a higher price point, right? Because it's going to be more in demand. So with that being said, oh, there we go. We just saw, well, as of right now, we're seeing DGAS uh, shoot up. So that's the inverse ETF. One thing that you you know want to pay attention to is like, yes, there's going to be these fluctuations um, of, of prices, but what really caused this huge spike, especially, wow, it, it's actually uh, popping right now. One of the things that caused the huge spike over the weekend was, you know, the, um, it, it says it right here, um, how it, how it's overall the weather guidance really significantly uh, strengthened this specific weekend. And then it shows you like a, this like natural gas report tracker and stuff like that. Again, just to keep it in very simple terms, it's the winter and it's known, it's a, it's a previous pattern. So even if you just focus on no fundamentals and just, you know, technicals, looking at the three year analysis, you can easily make sense when you look and analyze forward slash NG and be sure to do this on your own, right? You can see that during the winter months, natural gas becomes more of a, um, it becomes more scarce, right? So it becomes more um, overpriced. You can see with the RSI and everything follows. Overall push drives up, right? Same thing when it comes down to even a year ago. And then when it comes down to this year, easiest way for me to put it is again, natural gas prices go up when it gets colder. Natural gas prices go down when it gets warmer. And the reason that's so important is so many people as of right now, and the reason that I'm making this video is one of the things that I'm seeing a lot within the chat is to buy the dip on D gas. And trust me, I get that, like understanding that something pushed up very aggressively and it's due for a pullback and stuff like that. When it comes down to ETS, I would, I would just approach this at ease. Again, we're barely getting into the winter months, right? We have November and December. We still have two whole months for natural gas to fully flourish. And that means that you guys can continue to uptrend. So I would really hit on the idea that maybe buying the dip and holding isn't the best, you know, isn't something that I would personally do. Again, all power to you and whatever it is that you see value in. I just wanted to keep it super simple and at least give some insight for all those that think that they're buying the dip on D gas on yes i think that there could be some volatility leading up to you know its peak and you can buy the dip and be able to sell it for a profit like as a day trade and stuff like that but the overall direction 
for you guys and natural gas should be showing signs of an uptrend. So as of right now, we're seeing a little bit of a sell-off when it comes down uh, to degas and then when it comes, or, or a little bit of sell-off when it comes down to you guys. But again, that's intraday. That's on the one day, one minute chart. One thing that we really wanna pay attention to is its overall direction and where it's really heading, not just on the day, you know, if you want to day trade it, great, all power to you. But when it comes down to a swing trade for all those that are trying to buy the dip and hold, I would just really question and do a little bit more of an analysis to get a better understanding of the direction that it's headed. That's all. So again, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I want to keep it as simple as possible. There's no reason to make this video longer than it has to be. Um, I want to let you guys know that again, we are hosting that uh, Learn Plan Profit $500 and laptop giveaway. So it's for all those that enroll in the Learn Plan Profit lesson library from November 1st to November 10th, you'll be in the running and winning that free laptop and $500. And we announced the winner uh, this this Saturday, November 10th at 5 p.m. now in standard time. So I wish you guys the best of luck. Again, that should be that second link in the description. And feel free to check out my videos. We run the largest YouTube channel for those who invest in the stock market. We run the largest private trading community on Facebook, over 165,000 members. Again, that's that. Uh, I think it should be the fourth link in the description just because I entered uh, the, or submitted the link uh, for the natural gas reports for you to do your own analysis. But again, be sure to uh, look a little bit more into it. If you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, all the links are down below. So thank you guys again so much for your time. Continue working hard, continue following dreams. Let your passion be what drives your success. Please make sure that we don't trade based on other people's opinion and that we're the sole decision makers on what you know we choose to invest our hard-earned money. Like always guys, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy.